Hello people, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Padma Tashi, an aerospace graduate from IIT Kanpur, currently working as a software engineer. Today in this video, I am going to talk about the aerospace engineering program offered by IIT Kanpur, how good is it and should you pursue it. And I am also going to talk about the various career prospects after pursuing aerospace engineering. I hope you guys will gain a good amount of knowledge from this video, so please stick till the end and watch the full video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so first of all you need to understand what aerospace engineering is right before pursuing it. You must have heard people talking about various engineering courses related to aircrafts and spacecrafts, be it aerospace engineering, aeronautical engineering, avionics engineering, astronautical engineering and lot more. So, what is aerospace engineering? Aerospace engineering is nothing but a combination of astronautical engineering and aeronautical engineering, wherein one study about spacecrafts as well as aircrafts. So if you really want to know if you are into aerospace engineering or not, I will ask you few questions that will make it pretty much clear that if you are into aerospace engineering or not. Is aerospace engineering my true calling? To know the answer to that question, I want you to ask few questions to yourself, okay? So, have you ever wondered how things fly? And have you ever wanted to design something of your own, you know, that will fly? And have you ever been excited about the intricacies of the machinery of aeroplanes, helicopters, space vehicles, etc? And have you ever been, you know, fascinated by the various computer simulations? And also ask yourself that have you uh, always felt proud about achievements of ISRO or NASA or SpaceX or Blue Origin or whatever uh, space company it might be. So if your answer is yes to any of these questions, a degree in aerospace engineering could be just right for you. So if you ask me uh, why I chose aerospace engineering, so to answer that question you know i also thought about all these questions and i had an answer as yes for almost all of the questions so that's why i decided to pursue aerospace engineering all right now let us talk about the aerospace program offered by iit kanpur to give you guys a better idea about the program i'll take you guys through the website of aerospace department at iit kanpur which will give you a better idea of what are the courses that are offered, what are the various laboratories that IIT Kanpur has and what are the various facilities that IIT Kanpur has to provide you. Let's first of all talk about why aerospace engineering at IIT Kanpur. IIT Kanpur ranked in top 3 aerospace schools in India on a consistent basis. Aerospace at IIT Kanpur boasts of some unique facilities such as flight test laboratory, helicopter laboratory, national wind tunnel facility, etc. which is not available anywhere else in India. The national wind tunnel facility is one of the finest in Asia. Many big big companies such as Boeing, Larson and Tubro come to IIT Kanpur so as to test their models in National Wind Tunnel Facility. IIT Kanpur offers world class teaching and research facilities. The faculty and students of the department are engaged in cutting edge research and excellent infrastructural facilities available at the institute which allows them to delve into pushing the boundaries of the state of the art of technology. At aerospace engineering department at IIT Kanpur, students are encouraged to meet and interact with eminent researchers from across the globe through participation in international conferences, workshops and competitions to introduce them to novel ideas related to their field of interest. The academic and research labs are very well equipped and are of the highest standard allowing students the creative freedom to pursue the research of their choice. So by now you must have been you know, convinced by the fact of all this facilities that IIT Kanpur provides. Let me now take you through the website of aerospace department at IIT Kanpur. What comes to your mind when you first think of aerospace engineering? Different people have different perspectives towards it. One can think about the particular shape of an aircraft or anything that flies. Other person can think about the shape of an aircraft structurally like 
what is the material with which it is made of. Other person can think of how the engine that powers the aircraft or rocket or spacecraft works and other person can think of how an aircraft is steered through the air. So all of these comes under the different specializations that one can do after their bachelors in aerospace engineering. Let me now give a brief idea about all these specializations. First one is aerodynamics. In simple layman terms, this is all about how an airflow acts around the surface of an aircraft, how the lift is generated, what are the main factors for the drag, how can we improve the lift to drag ratio by playing with the shapes of different parts of the aircraft. I'm not going to throw big big terms such as CFD, transition and turbulence, FSI, acoustics, etc. in front of you. Believe me, all these are interesting topics that you will study as an aerospace engineering student. Now, the second one is flight mechanics and control. This is all about the design and control of an aircraft. In this, one studies about control systems and how the aircraft is controlled using different control surfaces. This is all about control system theory, guidance and navigation of missiles, rockets and understanding the various lateral and longitudinal derivatives of an aircraft which can be further used for automated flights of an unmanned aerial vehicle. Basically, it's all about making the aircraft stable in every possible way. One also study about space dynamics under this specialization, how to put a satellite into specific orbit, the science behind changing orbits or to make a rendezvous with another satellite, such as sending astronauts to ISS, setting orbits or journey paths to Mars or Moon and various other interesting stuffs. Now, the third one is propulsion. This is all about powering an aircraft and studying the working of an aircraft engine or a rocket engine. It is very interesting to study how these beautiful magnificent engines are engineered and what makes them so powerful that it can power thousands of kilograms of aircraft or rockets to fly at such high speeds. To study the various stages the flow goes through an engine and all the designs incorporated within the engine so as to maximize the thrust, it is mind blowing to study and understand all those phenomena. Now, the fourth one is structures. This is all about the materials used for the construction of an aircraft or a spacecraft. There are enormous amount of forces acting on an aircraft when in flight that you can't even imagine. So as to make the flight safe for passengers, we need to make the aircraft structurally strong as well as light so as to save fuel, both of which cannot be compromised. There is a saying in aerospace industry, save every gram you can. Therefore, weight is a very crucial thing in aerospace industry. So choosing the right material is the main key here. This comes by historical data or experimenting and performing various tests on new materials. Composite materials such as carbon fiber is the new age material, which provide high strength to weight ratio as compared to other materials. So these are the main four uh, specializations in aerospace engineering. There are sub specializations uh, which I will not discuss here but these are the main four specializations that I just discussed. During the four years of aerospace engineering at IIT Kanpur, one is given a taste of all these spe different specializations. The program is curated in such a way that one have the basics of all these specializations and can jump into any specialization that he or she would want to do after their bachelors. Believe me, IIT Kanpur has world-class facilities and laboratories where we practically perform all the theoretical stuffs that we learn. Faculty of Aerospace Department at IIT Kanpur are the best in India. IIT Kanpur has its own runway and its own aircrafts to perform experiments. Students often get chance to fly in those aircrafts and perform experiments. You can visit the Department of Aerospace Engineering website to learn more about the various laboratories, all the interesting projects undergoing different labs. You can also go and read about the various works each of the professors are doing. You can also read about the various courses offered throughout the four years and what the courses are about. 
go through the website thoroughly and i believe you will gain more information about aerospace department at iit kanpur and it will surely help you in choosing the right branch and the right college all right let us now talk about the career prospects after pursuing aerospace engineering i would like to be very honest here not many companies come for placements for core aerospace most of the uh, graduates end up getting placed in non core companies that is software profile or business analyst profile or any other profile so now you will say what is the point in doing aerospace engineering if we are not getting a job in core aerospace sector core aerospace companies are looking for people having specializations in particular fields that's why btech people are not preferred here also the companies think that the btech people will uh, you know go to a, a foreign country to pursue ms uh, at one or the other point of time that's why they see a loss in it that's why they do not hire btech people another factor is these core companies does not pay as well as the other non core companies now you will say that money does not matter it's the passion that matters the most but that is not the case for all the people right not uh, everybody wants a, a core job right uh, after you know doing hardships for 4 years who would not want a high paying job if you only aim for core aerospace profiles then it might happen that you end up getting placed nowhere so that's a thing that nobody would want right also not all the graduates have enough passion or have enough patience to do a specialization for two more years or a phd in the particular field that's why they end up getting placed in a non core company one can also appear for different examinations uh, right like gate or organization specific exams like isro hal nl drdo and such organization but the problem is they have very less vacancies that they open for btech graduate that is not the end of the world here yeah? i have many friends who are pursuing masters in iit kanpur itself or in foreign countries like usa also i have many friends who have already got phd offers from best universities of usa they'll be going to usa further this year to pursue their phd so these are the people whom were passionate about their field and whom had the patience to wait for another 2 years so as to pursue what they really wanted so the main crux is it is you who have to decide what you want in your life and if you work hard towards it you will surely achieve it the main thing here is to identify what you really want to do in your life once you will identify that and start working hard towards it then nobody can stop you from achieving that goal be it any field be it a job be it a ms in usa phd in usa whatever it might be just identify what you want to do in your life and then start working hard towards it then you will surely achieve that that is all about this video i hope you guys have gained some knowledge from this video and like the video if you like the video do subscribe to my channel cheers bye bye